a series of cooking. I'm going to name it Crisis Cooking. I'm so dramatic, aren't I? <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't know about you, but I've always, I think at the back of my mind, I've always been worried about what happens if, you know, you get made redundant or your, your health changes, your circumstances change. Maybe money is an issue. Maybe you don't have enough money coming in. Maybe you've got to bridge a gap for two or three months until things improve. Maybe the pandemic carries on forever and ever and affects things like supply chains. You know, maybe we get dragged into a war between Russia and Ukraine. We don't know the ramifications, the impact with energy prices rising, with the cost of living rising. I think it's really important to be able to lower your costs and also still enjoy some of your favourite things, even if you can't get hold of them or even if they're too expensive to buy. We need to think of alternative ways where we can still get by, mend and make do, as they said during the war. So being a vegan, I, I, I enjoy plant-based milks, mostly oat milk, um, so I maybe buy Oatly or Alpro Pro. I really tend to try and buy them when they're on special offer. So I rarely pay the full price, which is about £1.75. I tend to wait till they drop to about £1.25 and then I buy them. But £1.25, even when you get the cheapest deal, is still quite expensive for a litre of milk. I read somewhere the other day that you can make a litre of oat milk probably for about 10p and I thought I've got to give this a go what happens if the supply chain runs out and I can't get hold of my favorite plant milk um anyway this will be a lot a lot cheaper way to do things if I'm going to be saving one pound 15 per liter of milk it's a no-brainer really isn't it so what I've done is I've bought myself some uh nut milk bags and I've bought them in uh, I think it's 120 micron and 200 micron. I'm not sure. This is the first time I'm going to make oat milk, by the way. So I'm not sure which is going to be the best one to use. I'm going to use that. Um, so basically the recipe is one cup of organic jumbo oats to four cups of ice cold water. And then what you have to do is you put them in the blender together and, and mix them until, until it's a fine pulp. And then you put the pulp into the nylon nut milk bag and you strain it and basically what you get through the strainer at the bottom is the nut milk which you then put into your cold um, glass jar and put it in the fridge. I'm going to make just a litre because um, I have heard something about oat milk can be a bit slimy so you've got to keep things really cold um, and use it up quite quickly. Um, but it's not going to take long to do I'm sure but anyway I'm going to give it a go. See if I can make it, see if I like the taste of it, and um, also see how it keeps over a couple of days. And uh, if so, I'm gonna carry on doing that forever and ever because it's a no-brainer, isn't it, really? 10p rather than £1.25 or even £1.75 a litre. So um, yeah, I'm gonna film this and uh, we'll see. So I've got four cups of cold water in these jars, which I've had in the fridge, two in each one cup of jumbo organic rolled oats um, and i'm going to blend them in my trusty kenwood blender this nice little old-fashioned blender which i've had for 10 years or so bought it for a uh, 10 pound off ebay um, and uh, so far so good so let's put in those oats and then put in the water this is only a small little blender, so I hope it all fits in. Um, we'll try and get most of it in. Probably just add a bit of cold water in the end. We'll think that's going to be okay. Let's give it a whiz around. So I'm going to pour the oat milk in. I've strained it through that bag. Now I chose the um, larger holes in the bag. Um, so we'll see how we get on with that. Next time, if I find there's too much debris in it, I will use the finest micron available. 
but there's the oat milk. I'm going to put it into the cold jars and now put it in the fridge. Pour the oat milk into the jars. See how much it makes. Now, so four cups. There doesn't appear to be any debris in the bottom. There's the oat milk. Hey, that looks all right, doesn't it? Woohoo! So there they are. Four cups. Oh, it's probably about a litre. Of course it's a litre. 250 mils, isn't it, in a cup? A litre of oat milk. Um, I've got to work out the cost. I used oats that were a little bit more expensive. Um, so I'm thinking this probably cost me about 25p for a litre. Um, buy them in the shops, £1.75. No brainer. I hope this tastes good. And I'm going to put these in the fridge, taste them later, keeping my fingers crossed because, yeah, <laughs> so easy. Proof of the pudding, as they say, it's time for a taste test poured some milk out. It's been in the fridge for about 15 minutes now, just cooled it down a little bit more. So here goes. Mmm. I had such a huge mouthful then I couldn't swallow it. This is quite different than the store-bought. The store-bought to me seems thicker and sweeter and I don't like the sugars in the store-bought ones. Hence me recently going for the ones that have absolutely no sugars in at all because I don't have sugar in my tea or coffee. So I really like this. Um, I can drink it just like this, it's lovely. It's gonna be absolutely lovely to make things like hot chocolate. And I've also made a coffee. Now I drink um, very strong French blend type coffee because I like it strong and I like to put oat milk in it so absolutely wonderful lovely absolutely wonderful <laughs> I don't know what I can say I don't know why I haven't done this before so anybody who's given me a heads up about this I've had one or two conversations online really appreciate it it definitely has encouraged me to try this as i'm going to say again and i think i've said it two or three times already it's a no-brainer this is absolutely delicious cheers